What's up everybody and how's it going today? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, been a little busy, wrecked the RS1, finally getting it put back together, upgrades, eh, just been, been doing lots of stuff. We've changed vehicles, got rid of the big trailer and the white truck already. So the F-350 and the 40 foot gooseneck already gone. This video though is about the RS1. Had a little mishap at the Badlands in Attica, Indiana. I'll put that video up real quick right now. After that video, I had to do some repairs. They're still not 100% done, but I did a lot of upgrades um, as I was doing the repairs. Right behind me, you can see I got, a, I got a new front bumper there. I got a nice cooler rack right there hanging. That's all freshly painted that I'm going to be putting on. But I'll go over the new additions to the RS1 and the upgrades that I did along the way. I'll show you those right now. All right, first upgrade that you're going to be able to see really easy is these very nice System 3 XT400s mounted on some System 3 bead locks. These are 331015s. They're still like brand new because they only have about five miles on them. Oh, as, as you can see, since I'm up here uh, from the accident, Got some uh, new plastic that is on its way for now. We have a trip coming up pretty soon at Black River Falls in Wisconsin. So for now, I'm just going to put the broken plastics back on because I don't have the new ones. Uh, next thing as far as upgrades, I got Zebro's forward 2-inch or 2-inch forward A-arms. Uh, they are very nice, good quality. I got Keller ball joints in there. Uh, I do not run a sway bar. I, I don't like them at all. Just uh, I think it handles much better. So there's there's the front end stuff. Oh wait, I take that back. I also did Zebro's tie rods because I bent one of my other ones. So new Zebro's tie rods also. Pretty much everything new was Zebro's or System 3. So as you know, it's got the shock therapy shocks right there, the gold edition, revalved and everything. I also got some uh, new Zebros billet reservoir mounts. So there's the, there's the rear. I got Zebros radius rods, the intense series radius rods and the mounting plate, pole plate, whatever you want to call it. It's got Zebros um, trailing arms. They are very nice. I can't wait to see how they glide over rocks much better than, than the stocks. I bent the stock one also. So I think that is it for upgrades. Oh wait, I take that back. Uh, last thing I did, which not that you can see it, but I did a uh, gear reduction in it to help turn these big tires much easier. So it's got gear reduction. Uh, that was all done at Midwest Side by Side. Uh, really great shop. So that is in Marseilles, Illinois. So I'm gonna put this back together today. Get all the, for the time being, the broken plastics back on it because we got a trip coming up, like I said. But I'm gonna get the, uh, every. oh, and I also did some cage modifications. I don't know if you guys have watched the other video or not, but the eyebrow, if you want to call it for the top of the cage, was way down here. I'm 6'2", and I just could not see out of this cage when I bought it. So we, we pretty much just took the front eyebrow bar that was about right here and moved it up to there. Uh, my buddy, uh, we'll call him Gustafson Customs, does really great welding. I mean, that's that's just nice stuff. He... Modified all of that for me, put it all back together, put the new tabs on there for the screws for the roof. I mean, really great work. He also made this really nice cooler rack, which I will put on here pretty soon. I'm not going to do a video of putting it on there, 
but I will get it on there and I will show you what it looks like in this video. So, and then this is a front bumper that I got. I just put a quick coat of paint on there. No, it's definitely not beautiful, but it's gonna do the job. I'm gonna try and get my lights put on and everything by the time we go on this trip to Black River Falls because we do a decent amount of night driving. So we will take a quick little pause right here and when, when it comes back, I will have the rack and the front bumper and maybe even some lights on there. We'll see what I get to. All right, well, here it is, 99% put back together. I did not get the front bumper on. It does not fit correctly. Uh, it's a 50 caliber front bumper, and these two mounting points are too far apart. They do not uh, go on there correctly. These ones fit, those do not. I can only get one of the bolts in, the other one was too far away. So I'll probably have to grind the inside of both of these holes out just on this side toward the center and then it will probably fit uh kind of sucks i didn't really want to have to do that but that's probably what i'm gonna have to do i just don't have the time to do it right now because we are going to be leaving soon but as you see all the nice broken plastics i just put them back on these are even barely on there they're probably gonna fly off they're little broken stuff right there yeah, kind of hit right there. As you can see in the video, I just rolled over on the side pretty hard, broke the front wheel off, and it was great. Or front shock off, I should say. Got all that taken care of, but here's my cooler rack. I'll show you what it looks like with a cooler. So there's how that's gonna sit in there, and it's got little hooks for a strap. So little eye bolts or whatever, so that'll be all good to go. So this is it put back together as much as it's gonna be put back together now. I really wanted to get the front bumper on because I've actually got some amber LED lights right here. I was gonna put a couple of those on there, but that ain't gonna happen. Barn's a mess, ain't got time to do it. So that's where we're at. Still gonna be, still gonna be a good time. Stay tuned, got a few extra videos because we changed all kinds of vehicles. Um, I got a 23 Bronco and a 23 Ford Explorer ST. Those videos will be coming soon with draggy times and some modifications coming on them. So anyway, stay tuned for what's coming up. Uh, we're gonna have some fun with the Bronco and the Ford Explorer. Don't know exactly when everything is going to be coming, but it'll be coming soon. And I'm also ordering a 10,000-pound uh, lift for the shop because it's it's time. I do enough stuff around here. It's time to do, get a lift. So stay tuned and check back. Thanks for watching.